Okay, this is a surface mount soldering uh, uh, test using our new griddle here at Hack Lab. Uh, these are the boards I wanted to solder. It's just two small SoundSpark boards that, uh, I guess it doesn't focus close. Oh, there it goes. It does. It yeah, so that I just put some paste on and put some parts on. And not even all the parts are there, but it doesn't really matter for this test. So I'm going to turn it on over here, and it'll start heating up. We have to set it to the maximum temperature there because it requires every little bit of ouncing this thing can do. Um, and while it's heating up, I'm going to pull out our thermal camera so that we can see what's going on. This is Sen's super duper unbelievably fancy thermal camera. It allows you to see in the infrared. All right, you can see we're already getting quite hot. It's already at 100C, which is awesome. 100C? Yeah, in the hot spot, which is where I put the board. So in a previous test, I determined where this the hot spot is on the board. And it's basically right yeah. where the boards are at. Uh, list active. So hopefully, oh yeah, you can already it's see the solder is spreading a little bit, which is super it cool. It's kind of down. pooling out. Okay. We've achieved 110, 120. Yeah. That's the string, right? Yeah, 120 on the boards. So we're going to call it with 1, 2, 3, 4. From me, actually, we're going to call this from 1, 2, 3, 4. Which is the system ID it's going to extract from there. And we have to pass the user ID in. So it's going to pass the, we expect it to pass none. So when it's called with, when it's called like that, I expect I'm not telling the modifier. Right so the hope is that this thing gets hot enough. In a previous test, even though the thing sets to 200, I discovered that the hot spot here in the corner achieves about 260 which should be more than enough to make this solder go. But there's a reason this is a test. <laughs> now, expecting that after the JSON that gets back, we'll have a field of tickets with that string, with a list containing exactly that string. Mm -hmm. It's a sort of incremental. Um, Temperature's now 145, quite a ways off yet. And there is, there is about a 20 degree difference between the top of the boards and the griddle itself, which means we may barely get enough temperature. Because, like I said, I think that yeah, so exists, so I can griddle got to about 260 or 265 last mm -hmm. time, and so, we really so need like 250 to make this it. go. Oh, there's some smoke arising. It would be a is that a good thing? Yeah, it's a good thing. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that in the camera? Yes. Can you see what it is inside? Yeah. Yeah, usually the smoke... Oh, yeah, there you go. You see it now. Oh, so you're basically soldering the stuff by just heating the oh, okay. pieces of it. Yeah, that's the idea. You heat from the bottom. Oh, in fact, look. This one... Some of them have now soldered. You can see them on the top there. Not all of them, though. Oh, yeah, the ones in the bottom are going now, too. Things are looking really good. That one must be substantially hotter, is it? Yeah, you can see. That one is at least 10 degrees warmer on the camera. We've still only achieved 200. I think I'm going to move that one. It's off in the corner a little bit. Standard stands up for setting up for points. I think if I got around here, then I could use, I could use this guy. I'm just going to lower this guy into the hotter spot. Stop capturing standard output so I can see what the debugger is asking. Yeah, look at how shiny those ones are now. That's awesome. These ones too. All right, we've achieved a full solder job. Which is awesome. For a first try, that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to just turn the sucker off now because we don't need any more. There we go. <clears throat> and it mm. only achieved about two, 220.
on the boards, which means actually we have considerable power because the middle, it doesn't stop heating until the middle hits 200 and it only hit 180 this time. So we have maybe an additional 20 degrees that is good. So it said in the tutorials I read that if you have larger parts, like if you're soldering if connectors you're this way, you need extra temperature. So I've screwed up the box out. But for my stuff, this will be totally awesome. Anyway, that successfully concludes this test. Thanks for watching.